The number one factor influencing profitability in a cow-calf operation is pounds of calf marketed per cow exposed to the bull. Cow productivity is determined by weaning weight of the calf and reproductive efficiency of the cows. In turn, reproductive efficiency is influenced by how quickly the cow herd breeds after the bulls are introduced and the total number of cows that actually conceive. In recent years, cow-calf producers have been able to increase calf weaning weights by selecting for both increased calf growth rates and cow milking ability. As calf growth rates increased, so did mature cow size. And as cow size and milking ability have grown, so have their needs for more nutrients. Providing good forage and the right minerals and vitamins to the cows before and after calving is the most important factor in ensuring that the cow rebreeds. Underfeeding the cow before calving time will result in a thin cow at calving time, and thin cows take longer to return to estrus. This results in fewer chances for these cows to become pregnant during the breeding season. If cows don't receive adequate levels of feed after calving, they may cycle and be bred by the bull, but still fail to conceive. A body condition score is a measuring tool to determine how efficient your feeding program has been. A body condition score is simply an on-the-hoof visual assessment of the cow's body fat. The system described here uses a scale of 1 to 9, with 1 being extremely thin and 9 being extremely fat. When scoring an animal for body condition, first get an entire body view from the front then views from the side and rear. Look to see if the skeletal structure is visible or if the cow has a generally smooth appearance. Next look at specific areas on the cow to determine the presence or absence of fat. Start at the front and work your way to the rear of the animal. Observe the brisket for signs of fat. Next observe the cow through the shoulder and across the ribs. Look for the outline or prominence of bone structure. Observe the back for indications of spinous processes and vertebrae leading to the tail head. Look for the tail head itself and observe the hip and pin bones. Look for skeletal structure with the animal standing still and walking. Look for large patches of fat. They may be apparent over the ribs, around the tail head, and below the vulva. Now that we have a general understanding of where to view the animal to determine body fat, we should consider some specific body condition scores. Cows in body condition scores 1 and 2 are similar. Both have an extremely emaciated appearance. The only major difference is that body condition scores of 2 do not show muscle breakdown or loss that condition score 1 cows do. A cow in body condition score 3 still appears thin but not emaciated. The spinous processes of the backbone and the vertebrae leading up to the tail head are visible. The tail head itself is sharp and prominent with no fat cover around it. The cow has no fat in the brisket and is sharp and clean over the shoulder. The ribs are clearly visible and the pin bones are clean and prominent. The hip bone is easily seen being sharp in appearance which indicates no fat cover. A body condition score of 4 indicates a cow that is borderline in condition. The cow is still thin enough to likely have breeding problems but she has more body fat than cows in the first three body condition scores. The spinal processes are still visible, but are not as clean and sharp, having a much more rounded appearance and feel when touched. The overall outline of the rib cage can still be seen, although individual ribs are not as obvious. The hip and pin bones can be seen, but like the spinal processes, they're not as clean and sharp, having a more rounded, smooth appearance. The tail head will still be clean and prominent without any fat deposits on it. Cows in body condition scores of 1 through 4 are too thin for optimum breeding. These animals need to gain weight before the beginning of the breeding season. 
Cows with body condition scores of 5 through 7 are considered to be ideal conditions for optimum breeding. These animals only need to maintain their body fat during the breeding season. A cow in body condition score 5 appears neither fat nor thin, but has a general overall smooth appearance. She will show some fat deposits in the brisket and fat cover over the ribs. Spinous processes are not readily visible and have a smooth, round feel when touched, which indicates fat cover. The hip bone will still be visible, but has a very smooth and rounded appearance. The tail head will have a much smoother, less sharp and prominent appearance. Slight indications of fat deposits may be seen around the tail head. The cow will have a very smooth and rounded appearance over the pin bones. A cow with a body condition score of 6 has a smooth overall appearance. She's flat and level over the top with no visible signs of the spine. Firm pressure is necessary to feel the spinous processes. The ribs are not visible and show a good fat cover when touched. Fat is readily showing in the brisket. The hip and pin are very smooth with only a slight indication of the bones. Fat deposits are readily showing around the tail head. A cow in body condition score 7 has a definite fleshy appearance. The cow has a very flat and square look over the back. The skeletal structure is not readily visible at either the rib, hip, or pins. Patches of fat will be visible around the tail head and the brisket will be full and prominent. Cows in body condition score 8 and 9 are too fat and wasty. They are very box-like in appearance. The spine is almost impossible to feel even with hard pressure. The cow will show large deposits of fat over the rib and around the tail head and below the vulva. The tail head will be recessed in fat with an almost sunken appearance. In extreme cases, mobility may even be impaired in the cow. As mentioned before, a body condition score is a measuring tool used to determine how efficient a feeding program has been. It's simply an on-the-hoof visual assessment of the cow's body fat. Understanding desirable levels of condition for beef cows allows producers to design supplemental feeding programs. These programs can improve the condition of low-scoring cows and reduce the cost of feeding cows that score high. Timing is critical in the evaluation process. A cow's condition should be reviewed well before calving. This early analysis allows the producer to change the cow's body condition if necessary. That's especially true in spring calving cows. The best time to check a cow's condition is at weaning. At this time, cows will not have a high level of fill that tends to inaccurately inflate their true condition score. It's not necessary to assign a score to each cow. Instead, it's probably more practical to sort off the thin ones that will need additional feed and then manage them as a separate group. Grouping cows by feed requirements and feeding them accordingly can help each of them reach moderate range condition scores of 5 to 7 by calving time. Maintaining body condition scores in the moderate range of 5 to 7 will help cows achieve optimum reproductive performance while holding supplementation costs to a minimum. Young cows such as a 2-year-old first calf heifer should be maintained in the upper part of the range from 6 to 7 to have optimum reproductive performance. As you plan your feeding program, consider the 45 to 60 days before calving as the critical time period. During this time, your goal for cows in moderate condition is to ensure that the cow gains the weight of the fetus and at the same time not lose body condition. Any thin cows will need to gain sufficient weight to increase their body condition scores by 100 pounds per point and gain the weight of the fetus. As an example, a cow that needs its condition score raised from a 3 to a 5 will have to gain 200 pounds for condition and another 80 pounds to compensate for fetus growth. For those cows in the moderate to optimum body condition, an adequate feeding program should consist of all the average to high quality forage they can consume. If you have access to high quality forages, 
Only grain supplements will then be needed to help thin cows make sufficient gains. But if your forage quality is average or below, you'll need both grain and protein supplements. And in both cases, vitamin and mineral supplements are required to ensure adequate nutrition during this important growth period. Using body condition scoring as a management tool will improve a cow's reproductive efficiency and in turn make you more profit. For additional information on this scoring system and a more detailed review of the feeding system that's right for your herd, contact your county extension agent for agriculture. <laughs>